Hi, I'm Mrs. Montesano from Northdale School. Today I'm going to read you a story. It's called Grumpy Monkey. Have you ever been a little grumpy? Well, that's what happens to monkeys. It was written by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. So let's go in the jungle and see what happens. One wonderful day, chimpanzee woke up to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, said Jim. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemure. Jim's grumpy. Why are you grumpy? Jim asked. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemure. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh, no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, whispered Norman to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy. Hmm. But he didn't feel happy on the inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass with us, said the lions. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath. You should make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat all meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. Why are you so grumpy? Jim asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, said Jim as he beat on his chest. And he stamped off. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am a grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I dance with porcupine, said Norman. See the porcupine? Oh no. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? 
Yes, said Jim. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. And Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. The Did you ever feel grumpy? Sometimes it's okay to feel grumpy. It happens. But then you can look at all the great things. You might be feeling a little grumpy stuck inside, not being able to go to school, not being able to do the things that you like to do. But you know what? It'll get better. And if you pick up a book and read, it'll always make you feel better. See you soon. Bye-bye.